Hey, I'm Aaron. And I'm Tony. And, you know, we are just going to have this sort of little conversation here about kind of thinking about as we look at Easter and look at, you know, the whole celebration that we're going to have. You know, some people come, you know, once or twice a year to church, Easter Sunday being one of those times. But we want to ask the question, like, why continue to come? Like, why be a part of the church community? Why continue to come to Wellspring, you know, after Easter? So what would yeah. your thoughts be on that? No, totally. Right, so you have the 21st. You come, it's exciting, Jesus raised from the grave, yay, you know, and then it's like back to normal. Uh, but one of the convictions actually in the New Testament and here at Wellspring is that the life of God is not simply found on a Sunday, but being in ongoing relationship with Jesus. And we think that's best experienced and sort of the life of Jesus is most profoundly uh, felt in community, worshiping with others. So come on the 28th. Actually, it's going to be kind of fun. So we're going to do these different cultural conversations, like, are you into uh, Marie Kondo? Because Aaron's going to talk about Marie and how Jesus maybe intersects with that on the 28th. Uh, if you're interested in superhero movies, you're interested in Spartan races, keto, uh, CrossFit, you're interested in, uh, what's the last one? There's uh, four. The, the exercising? No, we do no that. mindfulness. 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 Yeah. yeah, clearly not very mindful. Yeah. Uh, interested in mindfulness, like being present. What does Jesus have to say about these things? Anyway, if any of those things spark your interest in, or you're just kind of like, what? what is this whole like resurrection thing, the life-giving presence of Jesus on a non-Easter Sunday? Come check us out. See you guys soon. Awesome. See you then.